reselling your online hustle your side hustle uh, Amazon eBay Poshmark Mercari all that stuff's awesome and we all want to consume as much content as we can because we all continue to learn things we learn things from other people but there's another side that uh, I want to share with you because while all those things are real and they can change your life they can create an extra income bookkeeping and the IRS are also very real stay tuned <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you showing up to watch this video. And let me first put out a disclaimer here. I'm not trying to discourage anybody. I'm trying to encourage people. I'm trying to encourage people to get into the resale online business platforms. And you can make a better life for yourself. You can create extra income. Whatever your, whatever your intentions are, it's there and it's wide open for anybody. So let me just put that out there before we get started and I get into telling you exactly how I made a $38,000 screw up. Well, you see, I have, I've been a business owner for 12 years now in a field that I spent 25 years in. And every year has been a, new, a little bit more of a learning curve for me. I knew nothing about business when I started and now I still, there's a lot I still need to learn, but I'm learning every day. A lot of those lessons I've learned hard. The newest big lesson has been concerning online business. Uh, my daughter and I, we sell on eBay and Poshmark. And uh, we have some other sales too. But that's, that's the big resale ventures that we have. And also, uh, like I say, I'm a business owner fairly successful for a one-man show and uh yeah that's where my next mistake came from i just opened up my quickbooks and started adding receipts and and invoices for sales and things and didn't really know exactly what i was entailed with selling online as far as the irs is concerned now, there, there's no need to get too upset here uh Especially if you're just starting and getting your feet wet and getting your first sales and you're in your first few months or six months or whatnot. But in the not too distant future, it'd be a good idea to address these issues before they bite you in the butt. My, what bit me in the butt being a business owner is when, when I added on the, the online sales and everything I, I have an llc that's what i do business under when i added on the online online sales and the side hustle into this i just like my other business i just kept track of my receipts and my income and turned it in on a profit loss statement go get my taxes done hey that pretty much covers isn't it not so much well wine for the tax season and last year was a a bigger issue than this year I think I finally got things figured out now, but uh, what happens is, is especially like in the state of South Carolina, resale certificates and resale licenses and different things are kind of different than they are in other states. And I suggest you check your state out uh, to see what's required. And it's not a big deal usually if it's a little resale license like in South Carolina. I think it was $25 or whatnot to get a, a resale license. It's no big deal. You need resale certificates if you buy things wholesale and you don't want to pay sales tax and such. That's another story for another day. But what I want to warn you guys on is when you start making sales and you start really building out your eBay store, your Poshmark closet, whatever it is, decide when sales start picking up and you get to that point of you the next level decide if it's something you're going to stick with if it's, you're going to stick with it you need to find a local cpa uh, one that does books you just take your receipts and everything to them and let them go 
they take care of everything. At the end of the year, they call you in and you need to sign this and that's your tax return and go at it. But I would find somebody like that when you start getting into the thousand dollar months, two thousand dollar months, you know, when you first really get started uh, progressing. I think eBay uh, has to report anything over twenty five hundred dollars. So you can keep that in mind if uh, and I suggest you keep all your receipts and total those up and take them to your tax preparer. But what I'm getting at is if you don't understand business, you've never been in business before and you don't understand what is copacetic as far as what is tax deductible and not tax deductible and different things. I would seek out the advice of somebody who really knows, and I'm not that person as I'm about, as I'm telling you, uh, because between last year and this year, uh, because of my business being an LLC and what I do, reselling can still be claimed under the LLC, but there are other different ways to count the deductions and things. It's kind of hard to explain. And the reselling amount that I made this year threw me into another tax bracket. Plus, I was not counting things in the correct categories for, for reductions. And yeah, between last year and this year, last year was the big one. And we're getting better. Uh, between last year, 2018, and this tax season, 2019... It's hit me for about $38,000. Now, don't, like I say, don't get all upset. And, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to deal with the tax headaches. I'm not gonna... There's going to be challenges to anything you do, okay? If your goal someday is to beat the 9 to 5 rat race, you want to be a reseller, affiliate marketer, whatever the case is, there are going to be challenges along the way. You have to meet the challenges, overcome the challenges, and move on. This is just one of those things. Uh, I have a fairly lucrative business plus my resale business. One does not complement the other. I do not take money out of the, my main business and use it to buy a bunch of product for resale. To me, that's downhill business, and we're building our eBay and Poshmark through eBay and Poshmark sales. Everything we make goes right back into it. Uh, so... I'm just saying, now I have a bookkeeper, and I think they're char uh, the lady's charging me a total of $130 a month to take care of all this crap for me. I no longer have to open QuickBooks and eat Rolaids and all this stuff to try to figure this stuff out. And when you're trying to figure it out and you don't have a leg to stand on, it's easy when you... Think, oh, well, you just save your receipts and your invoices and you're good. There's <laughs> there's a little more to it than that. Uh, but when you're small, just starting out, it's okay if that's the way you do it. But when you start turning pretty good profit, I suggest you get it some It may not help. apply to everybody. Some of you may have the business acumen and and the wherewithal to know what, what you need to do, how you need to do it, and how taxes work and how everything runs. But different things get taxed different ways and, and different deductions are deducted different ways. So I suggest you be very careful. One that. big thing that has kind of saved our butts, so to speak, I keep saying our because my daughter and I are business partners in this. Right now I'm the responsible person and business owner, LLC owner, and she's coming along and one day I'm going to turn everything over to her. So... But we need to have things figured out. That's one reason we went with a bookkeeper instead of waiting until, yeah, then. But like I say, we've uh, we've turned everything that we've made on eBay and Poshmark and my affiliate marketing website. We've turned everything right back into the business. So it's not as bad as one might look at it, you know, and think, oh my God, you know. Because everything we've done has been covered by deductions. It's just the gross amount has thrown me kind of into another tax bracket that I wasn't considering. And that's okay because now it's all ironed out and going forward everything should be great. But just don't wait until you get $38,000 notice from the IRS that you made some mistakes before you do something and about it. yes, it is a little embarrassing to tell people that. But that's kind of, I think that's what this is for. 
is to tell people about your experiences and try to help other people along their way and so they don't make the same mistakes. Uh, right now I own uh, basically two businesses and our resale and we're doing well into six figures with it. That's not to brag. You know, it's not just resale. It's, it's the whole hustle. Uh, right now, resale is accounting for about 20% of uh, what we're doing as far as income-wise. Uh, I hope to make it 100%. So I'm not giving up, and you shouldn't give up over the little hiccups and bumps in a row. That's pretty much my, my whole point. I just want to tell you guys, when you start getting to in getting into sustained success to turn your taxes over to a cpa it's not as expensive as you think it is and it can save you a lot of it will save you a lot of headache and and heartburn and worrying and and things turn it over if you're not a reseller and you own another business and you're trying to keep up with everything through quickbooks and about, keep all your receipts done and all your invoicing done and blah 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 I wish I had done this a long time ago. Uh, yeah, I have my quick, everything's on my QuickBooks account, but I'm just gonna, I turned it over to the tax preparer and I'm gonna get a backup of their QuickBooks or what they're using is different than QuickBooks, but it, you can save it in QuickBooks, it's compatible. Uh, so I have a backup on my laptop at all times and on my hard drive and on my thumb drive and a fireproof safe in my closet. I hope you got some use out of this uh, this little short video. I just wanted to tell you guys it's that season right now, and and there'll be other seasons coming up. Kind of gives some, some of you may not really have thought about this, and it's a it's a fact. If you make a dollar, that the government wants to bleed some of it out of you, no matter what you make. So it's going to be the same in anything you do. Uh, don't let it hold you back. Keep progressing. It'll be all. It'll be okay, and I would suggest. I would go as far as to suggest, if you have a bank account, and you take twenty five percent of what you make, that's twenty five dollars out of every hundred, and put it in that bank account and leave it alone. At the end of the year, you're going to have probably more than enough to pay your taxes, and you'll have some money saved up, most likely. So anyway, if you got some good use out of this, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up, punch the subscribe button, a little bell notification. I've got a lot of stuff coming out. I just figured I would interrupt what I'm doing right now with this little tidbit of information. And uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out from sourcing, reselling, Amazon, how to set up different accounts, different apps in Amazon, triggers for our Scout IQ. There's a lot of stuff coming. Uh, a lot of it's in the editing stage, and we'll try to put out a, at least one video a week, sometimes two videos a week. We want it to only be stuff that's helpful. So, like I say, smash subscribe, thumbs up, and bell notifications. And if you feel so inclined, if you feel that you can get something out of these videos, then we would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one, and God bless.